touch. You all know that my partner, Lily, um, is another attorney of the National Lawyers Guild, and I just went in and we were able to see the three guys who are still being held. Um, we were able to talk to each of them individually. They are very grateful that you guys are out here, and their spirits were really raised when we told them that you're out here um, and that you know the National Lawyers Guild is working on their cases and trying to pressure them to get out, to pressure the city to. Um, release them. So as it stands now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot to tell you because we're still in the dark as we have been throughout this process, but um, they're all doing okay. They all know that they need to sit tight for a little bit longer. Um, and we were told by the commander that one of that the investigative team um, who's investigating the people who are, well, everyone who was arrested, that um, uh, they're not based in the station, so they are going to be here within the hour to talk to us. So in one hour, uh, we were promised that there would be someone who's actually involved in the investigation who will be able to give us information here at this station. Um, I have a question. Do you know the exact time? Because it's the, the Illinois law, law or Chicago law says that they can be charged for 48 hours. So do you know what time they were actually Right, so we, we, we do believe that the 48-hour mark is very close or has passed. However, um, there are some, it's not a hard and fast legal rule, the 48 hours. It's one of those things that is really uh, difficult to explain and this really has to be dealt with on a case-by-case uh, -case basis because uh, there's a number of exceptions and special circumstances and the timing is off in different ways. And so we're very on top of that. Uh, we are currently working at the office to prepare uh, for litigation if we have to, to pressure the 48-hour rule. Um, that we've made a stink at the desk, making sure that they know that these people have been held uh, for too long uh, without any charges. Um, so at this point, we just need to hold tight, unfortunately, and wait um, to hopefully talk to this investigative team. It's really tough. Uh, because we haven't been able to talk to anyone directly related to the investigation. So we're going to be on top of that. And as soon as we know more from them, we'll let you you guys know as much as we can. Thank you. Thank you. But thanks for being here. And really, they it meant a lot to them to know that they uh, that you guys are out here. They, each of their, their faces really lit up when they heard that. So keep it up. One more quick question. Thank you. Many of the calls. The search warrant circumstances are certainly sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Can you speak to that? Like, give us an sure. Uh, well, we know that the police raided four apartments in that apartment building. We know um, that in each of the. Well, so there were three apartments plus the apartment where people were arrested from, right? Um, in the other three apartments, there was no probable cause to enter those apartments. And oh the police did not have consent to enter those apartments. Each of those uh, tenants told them they did not have consent, and the police went in anyhow, detained them, and searched their apartments, and in some cases their homes, and questioned them. And um, the police have never made any claim uh, at all, be it bogus or realistic, that, though, that they had any warrant to enter those, that, those three apartments. We do know that after the initial search of the apartment where these people were arrested from, police returned. Uh, they were first, the individuals inside did request a search warrant, and the police said that they had one, they did not say they were going to show it to you. Later on, they did come back to uh, the house with, as you said, a very questionable search warrant. The police refused to leave a copy of the search warrant um, and didn't appear to be a complete uh, search warrant, although we haven't seen a copy of the search warrant or the affidavit supporting it, so this is all what we've been told by other sources, so it's very difficult to know exactly what the circumstances of that search warrant are, um, but, you know, it, that's as much as we know uh, at this moment about that. Do you think, uh, do you think that it would hinder or help if we were to At this 
this point, I'm pretty convinced that nothing is going to happen within the next hour. These officers here really um, have taken the position that they, they know nothing about the investigation and they have no say over what happens to the individuals who are still being held to these three men because um, they're simply a holding facility for these guys. The investigative unit is based out of the other uh, police station or the other building, police building that they were originally taken to over on Fillmore Street. Um, they're a specialized investigative unit. Uh, so I don't, at this point, I'm not of the belief that anything that's done to pressure these individual these officers who are currently here would make any difference. Um, so I think I think it's best for us to, to see what happens when hopefully these investigators really come uh, and see if we can get more information from them. What was the name of the special unit that you're waiting to talk to? We've heard it called two different names. Uh, these officers actually won't tell us what they're called or uh, really acknowledge their existence that much. Uh, they're organized crime division, they've been referred to. They've also been referred to as the intelligence unit. They, there is an organized crime division that we uh, made contact with yesterday, so perhaps it's one and the same. I don't know that the intelligence unit is an additional unit, but definitely the organized crime division was involved and we believe is still involved in the investigation. You're going to be here. The lawyers will most certainly stay here until we get information from That's right. What are the um, I go, they're, they're roughly in their uh, 20s to 30s. I don't know their exact age. No, I mean, I'm hopefully in an hour we'll have some information from, from the city. It doesn't, we don't know what that means. Someone from the, uh,